Well, we all have days, you know, we want to wear a paper bag over our head to hide embarrassing beauty blunders from a bright red blemish that screams, look at me, to that painful cold sore. Well, there's no need to hide anymore. Dermatologist David Myers has the fast track beauty fixes for our most common beauty blunders. And you've got them here for us. So let's just jump right in. Let's do what, it. what is one of the, the issues so many of us deal with called melasma? Tell me what this is. Melasma, anybody who has it knows what it is. Okay. It's basically these brown spots that you get on your lips and on your cheeks, especially um, during pregnancy or when you're taking oral contraceptives. So the cha melasma is challenging. It's, I, I'd love to say that I have some awesome fix that can erase it, but I do have some things that can at least help prevent it or or to make it a little bit less. So, th okay. so the, the best bang for your buck would be sunscreen. Sunscreen, prevention. Sunscreen, 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 because even if you use these fading creams, if you do not use sunscreen, go in the sun, it can get, it can go back, it can come back again. So this is if you can think of it before, but if you didn't, then this is something over the counter? That's exactly right. Okay. So we have over the counter and prescription products. Most of them, uh, well, one of the strongest products is hydroquinone. And over the counter, you can get like a 2%. 2%. Mm -hmm. Prescription, you could get 4%. Um, they even have a combo product called Triluma that's probably the gold standard for prescription products. But uh, again, prevent it. And then if you do have it, there are some fading creams. A lot of uh, the other popular companies, Neutrogena, Clinique, they all make fading creams. And, and they can work, um, but if you prevent it, they're not as strong, but they, but they can help. Okay, now cold sore, luckily, now I have dealt, I think maybe a little with this, cold sore not so much, but I know people who have them just die. Thank so, goodness. So Amy. what do you do? All right, Breva. so so we have a breva. A breva is one that you've heard of. What is a cold sore? A cold sore is a pain in the, in the booty, basically, <laughs> but it, it, it's actually a virus, and I like shrink whenever I say this word, but it's a herpes virus, not it, it, it different from the right. other uh, but you'll, uh, time But it'll keep coming back. That. It'll keep coming back because this virus kind of hangs out in the nerve. So what happens is it can hang out in the nerve for, you know, weeks, months, years, even decades, and you don't have a cold sore. Some people can have them constant, you mm -hmm. know, like every month or every couple months. So is this the best over-the-counter option? This is the best okay. over-the-counter option, and it's it's good. It helps. It'll take it away. Uh, it'll make the, the cold sore diminish about a day, uh, a day from the normal life cycle. But this is why I love to talk about cold sores. You, here we, we have pictured a prescription product mm -hmm. called Valtrex or Valcyclovir. Two dollars, generic, you take two pills at the first sign of a cold sore and two pills 12 hours later, you, you really won't get a cold sore. And that's that's such a big difference. That's what so you want. Let me just, I'd love to, love telling people that even when they go see their doctor for something else, you say, hey, I got cold By sores. <laughs> I know. Can you hook me up with something, then you can have them as a backup. Now, I had someone in the building just ask me about this the other day, because, let's face it, we're on TV. So, someone said, under eye, not looking so good. Yeah. And so, what are you telling us? You're sending us to the makeup aisle here. Yeah. Okay. Well, few things can make people look more aged, I guess, than these under, under the eye hollows or dark circles or bags under the eyes. Mm -hmm. the, the, the problem with this is that there's multiple things that cause it. Three of the most popular or the most common are allergies and congestion, mm -hmm. you know, from uh, allergic reactions. Um, age, you can get thinning of the eyelids and loss right. of the collagen. And lastly, even, you know, stress uh, or lack of sleep. So, you know, just some of these products that are, are pointed out here, for instance, this youth corrector, if the problem is more from, you know, from the loss of collagen and the, and the dryness and thin skin, there are plenty of over-the-counter products that can help eye creams. Okay. Now, if it's congestion and you're getting uh, black, uh, you know, backup in your nose, a Claritin. Little Claritin. Exactly. A, a non-sedating antihistamine can help out a lot. There's other ones too. So maybe try Allegra. those before you do anything drastic and then if you need further. Okay. Exactly. What, what do we have next? Are these are things we all deal with. Yes, ma'am. The pimples. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What do you recommend? Okay. So pimples. So all different types of acne. I, I see a lot of patients. There's hormonal. There's comedonal. There's inflammatory. But what about a single spot? Right. Uh, so this benzyl peroxide, which is in some of these products. Mm -hmm. This is probably the strongest over-the-counter that we have. There's two examples of the exact same percentage in these two, 10%. Put this on, 
you know, once or twice a day, the first sign of the col uh, of the blemish before yeah. you, you know, pop it. And of basically. course, you can always get a higher dosage if you go to a dermatologist. But this exactly. is exactly this is a great way to way start to for start. individual blemish for a couple days. Use something with benzoyl peroxide, 10 percent. And five to lastly, 10%. I'm not going to show mine on TV, but okay, we're talking about stretch marks. Okay. We know we get these when you gain weight. So a lot of pregnant women. Exactly. What can we do? So stretch marks. I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but yeah, I've heard stretch this. marks. Um, uh, unfortunately, Unfortunately, there's no great over-the-counter products that will take them away or prevent them. None of these creams. So stretch marks, the, only, the best things we have so far are laser and maybe a Retin-A, like a retinoid. So if it's in a place where it's very noticeable, you may want to consider the laser Absolutely. treatment. Absolutely. Okay. Scars, on the other hand, there are some stuff that we can do. Now, if we're talking, uh, if you treat a scar at the get-go, some of these products that have silicone, even uh, this one's like more of a gel, mm -hmm. and they even have these little strips, strips these okay. pads that you can apply during the day and take off at night, those can help out, and especially if you use a gel, massage it, once or twice a day, it can break up the fibrosis within the scar. So I, I definitely recommend some of these over-the-counter products. For and those. he said with all of these, prevention is always the key. And if, if you want more info, where can we find you? Uh, I'm in Lehigh, I'm at Utah Valley Dermatology. Okay. Uh, UVderm.com is the website. UVderm.com, thank you. Thank you. Thank you no so problem. much. All of these can probably help me, to be honest. <laughs>